May is the time when most of us get our climbing plants in ground, such as beans, pumpkins, loofahs, etc. into the ground. So this is also the perfect time to set up some vertical structures to support these climbers. Today we are going to show you these DIY garden arches that we made this year. The cost of one of these arches came up to $15. We'll start with showing how we made these arches and then we'll get into the price breakdown and where we sourced our material from. Material needed to make one of these garden arches includes two 4 feet tall T posts, two sturdy garden trellises, three half inch wide 10 feet long PVC pipes, 5 feet of chicken wire or any other flexible fence material and some zip ties. Let's begin to assemble this. We already had one metallic arch which is black in color. So we wanted these two arches to be of the same color as well. Which is why we covered our PVC pipes with these permanent all weather gorilla tape. This is a completely optional step. We didn't want to paint because eventually the paint may chip off. As we want these arches to be in line with our metallic arch, we measured how wide our metallic arch is and we tried to keep the new ones of the same width. To do so, we put in the trellises in the ground but didn't press them all the way in and then we walked through them to get an idea of how it would look and if the width was comfortable enough to move through it. Once we were happy with it, we drove the T-post in to give the trellises extra support and then we drove the trellises in right next to these T-posts. Now that the sides of our arch is ready, we will make top of this arch. We are going to take this plastic garden fence and on the edges of it we are going to weave the PVC pipes through it. It is very easy if the fence is flexible and even a chicken wire would work for this. So this is how it looks like after weaving the PVC pipes through. We are adding another pipe in the center of this to give it extra support. This wire fence would help the climber plants to hold on to something when they reach the top of this arch. Now comes the fun part of putting this PVC and mesh assembly on top of our trellises. We are using the simple principle of tension here. We are putting the PVC pipe through the trellis such that it would be stuck there by the tension of being weaved into the trellis. This is how it looks like once we have the PVC pipe through the trellis. Now to keep these pipes from moving side to side, we are going to zip tie them to the trellis. We have steel zip ties. We just couldn't find them at this moment, so we are going to use these plastic ones. But we'll definitely replace these with the steel zip ties. And that is all we have to do. We finished this project in 30 minutes and it took that long only because we were trying to record all the steps. We are sure it could be done faster than that. We used the same steps to make the second trellis as well. Now let us look at the price breakdown for these trellises. We source most of our material from ReStore. The cost of one trellis was $5. The T-posts were $1 each. The PVC pipes were $0.50 cents each. The plastic fence that we used, we already had it. But if you buy mesh from ReStores, it's cheap enough as well. So we are adding additional $1.5 for that. Adding this all up brings us to $15. We're not adding the Gorilla Tape as it is optional and the zip ties, most of us have them in stock to use them around the house. We already have these two large planters right next to these arches and we are growing peas here for spring. Keep an eye on our channel for an update on all the stuff that we plan to grow on these trellises. Let us know if you tried this project out and how it goes for you. If you found value in this video, please do like it and subscribe to help our channel grow. Thanks for watching.